mentioning the concept of borrowers to people, they go, ah. Oh. Tiny, tiny little people. They're about that high. About the size of a crayon. Playing card size. Bug-like. Yeah, we don't like them. No, no, we don't like them at all. They borrow things from you. Not steal. But we haven't actually got to the point of what this show is about. So let's try again in a short burst. Um... This story is about a particular borrowing family called the Clocks. Who, in our version, live in an abandoned house in Bristol. Under the floorboards. If human beings saw us, they'd just freak out. All of a sudden, a family from Liverpool move in and completely renovate the house and change their existence. I'm a bit scared. Yeah. Well, because human beings are massive. Homily's not scared. She ain't scared of nothing. At the head of this household is a woman called Mrs Driver. Although, please, call me Auntie Val. Who has severe dust allergies and is very, very neurotic about cleaning the house. Beans do not know that borrowers exist, or certainly at the beginning of our story, they don't. So we nip up, grab some cake crumbs, some other bits that might be useful. It slightly drives her mad. She can't quite work out where all of her beautiful ornaments are disappearing to. We don't really know. I really hope that the audience will feel like a borrower by the end of the show. It'll invite you into this quirky, miniature, wonky, wonderful world. Oh, the music is spectacular. I think The Borrowers is about finding people who are different to you and what happens when you find them. How it feels to be that small. And how you can be little and you can be brave and you can be big and you can be scared and that's okay. And they better watch out when they're near me because I am going to dust them all. Oh.